everyone what is up it is Berlin welcome back to my channel hi guys how you doing right it is Monday I'm back I'm fresh out the shower and no makeup on or anything we're coming at you au naturel today you can see I'm much happier today much better mood I don't know why I just feel like more uplifted today so let's get into the tea first of all we're going to get into a little bit of tea about dirty dom from the vlog squad returning to tiktok and instagram after being accused of our wording a girl who goes by the name of hannah i have covered this story so far on my channel i kind of kept up with it the best that i could then i left it alone for a little while but now dirty dom has returned to the internet he's back to doing his old frat boy stunts and all that stuff on tiktok he also put out a lengthy statement, which is the first kind of thing that he's written on his IG since the allegations. His Instagram was actually private for a while, but Keemstar reacted to Dirty Dom's apology. I mean, it's so weird. He put it up as though it was an apology, but then went on to say that it was consensual. So it was all a bit of a big mess. The statement is all a bit of a nothing statement, if you ask me. And Dirty Dom still needs to go to jail, in my opinion. Dirty Dom from the Vlog Squad has put out a statement, and oh boy, do we have some some questions. <laughs> okay, let's jump right into it. It is time for me to address the recent allegations that have come out against me. I want to sincerely apologize directly to the women involved in this incident. I definitely emphasize with the pain that everyone has suffered in this matter. With that being said, as far as I'm concerned... Everything that occurred during the night in question was completely consensual. Now, hold up. Completely consensual. All right. I want to sincerely apologize. If it was consensual, then why are you apologizing? Ugh. Goes on to say, I believe the statements that have come out against me are entirely misleading and shed an incorrect light on my involvement. My character is being unfairly attacked and the statements that exist in the public eye are unfairly defaming and assaulting my character and reputation. Why are you sincerely apologizing directly to the women involved if they are lying about you? We're seeing two different things here. This does not make sense. Uh, with that being said, um, blah, 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 blah. He donated money to women's rights groups. Look, man. Look, man. Come on, Dom. Come on, Dom. Can we get some honesty out of you? Either you're apologizing because you did something wrong. Or you're saying these women are lying and you're the victim. Which one is it? Make a stance, buddy. Aside from Keemstar, Trisha Paytas also reacted to Dom's statement saying, not consensual if the girl is blacked out. The video clearly states the girls were not having it. And after hours of master negotiation, they all were having sex. He deserves to be in prison. They were given alcohol. It was admitted that alcohol was there. This is our word. Dom's also been recently posting a lot of TikToks doing stupid stuff. Denise here. She's such a cutie. Claire, say hi. Say hi. Oh, no. Claire. No. Claire. No. Claire. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, no. No, no. Claire. 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 Hey, uh, something traumatic happened that changed my life. Check. Guys, guys, guys. Oh, oh, my goodness. Guys. <laughs> Yesterday, my hot cousin put hot glue on my phone and got it stuck to me. I missed my eyebrow appointment and I'm getting revenge. I put my pee pee in a bottle and dripped it down the hill on them. Payback's a bitch. He also included this one where he's going up to his roommate's room and basically kind of jamming out to the sound of his roommate getting it on with a girl. The thing about Dirty Dom's statement saying that it was consensual what happened between him and the young girls, it really wasn't because we've seen the evidence that the girl was very, very drunk being held up by a friend. We've seen that in the video that the H3 podcast shared and it's just really, really disgusting that Dirty Dom thinks he can now come back to the internet as if nothing ever happened, as if he's not guilty. But yet he tries to apologise. 
all while saying it was consensual. It doesn't make any sense. He's given us two different stories, as Keemstar said, and it's just awful. I mean, ugh. So, that vile human being aside, we're going to move on to a bit more of a positive topic now because I saw that Noah Beck had uploaded a video, Beckseat Driver, you know, part of that series, and he actually had Caitlyn Jenner on there. Now, I know a lot of people have a lot of harsh opinions about Caitlyn Jenner, and that's fine. That's all good. You know, this isn't me supporting Caitlyn Jenner. But what I do want to say on the situation is I watched Noah Beck's video. I actually really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was really good to see a young TikToker like Noah Beck having somebody like Caitlyn Jenner, who is an older trans person who came out a lot later in life, to have them on his channel to educate people about transgender stuff. I thought that was fantastic. So I'm going to show you a clip from Noah's video where Caitlyn Jenner talks about winning an Olympic gold medal, how she felt, how she always felt in her body, knowing that she was somehow not right, you know, and it really is wonderful to see somebody who came out later on in life telling their experiences to the world. You know, it's something that I think a lot of people will be able to relate to because there's so many people the world over who are on the DL, you know, on the down low and can't come out for reasons that they're not safe or whatever, you know, they're not going to be tolerated where they are. Hi. So this was really wonderful for me to see. I connected with it a little bit and I was just like, wow, this is so good to see someone young and fresh like Noah Beck trying to educate people on transgender stuff. And it's really just kind of heartwarming. So I wanted to share this with you. I went into the bathroom that morning and I looked and the gold medal was on the counter. And I looked at the gold medal and I put the gold medal all around and it was a full length mirror. And I'm looking at the mirror and I'm thinking, what the hell did you just do? Yeah. Have I built this character up so big, I'm stuck with him for the rest of my life? Because it's really not me. Uh, not all of me. It's part of me. Yeah. But not all of me. There's so much more to me. And I, I just, I got like upset. And I'm thinking, Christ, you know, what am I going to do now? You know, I'm kind of stuck with this guy. Fortunately, within the next day, I started working and just got, you know, and then started families and dealt with everybody else and raised tons of kids and... It wasn't until many years later, because it doesn't go away, that once all my kids were raised, I'm thinking, I did everything for everybody else. I got to do something for me. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And it was a great decision. That's amazing. Like, if you don't mind me asking, when, like you said, it like stuck with you. Well, when did you know? Like, oh, you... about being gender dysphoric? Yeah. Um, I, I just, honestly, I, there's not one time that I say, oh my gosh, what's wrong? Yeah. Because back then in the 50s, when I was growing up very young, I just had this fascination with my sister's clothes, my mom's. I would sneak around if everybody was gone and do things like that. And I never knew quite why I was doing those types of things. And throughout my entire life, I did that. Yeah. You know, through my entire life, there was a lot of sneaking around. Yeah, must have been. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, life was really, really, really complicated. That's why today, my life is so much simpler. Mm -hmm. I, I just wake up in the morning and I just be myself all day. Yeah. I don't have any, you know, I'm not trying to, I'm not fooling around, I'm not sneaking around, I'm yeah, honest. you don't have to. Yeah, I, I got a book out called The Secrets of My Life. It's on Amazon. And uh, kind of tells that whole journey, you know, of all the things that I went through. And originally, they were going to call it the secret of my life. And I go, no, 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 it's an S. Yeah. Because there was a lot of secrets. And living that lifestyle was very difficult. So while I might not love Caitlyn Jenner, I do have so much respect for the fact that she's come out writing a book that's going to help a lot of other people who are in the situation that she was in where they come out later on in life and then go through gender reassignment surgery and everything like that. Also, while I'm here on the topic, I want to mention this book here. This is a book that has greatly helped me in life. It's fiction, but this book, Middle Sex, it is by the author of The Virgin Suicides. I'll link it down below, but this book has helped me so much with my own gender identity when I've been struggling. You know, I, as you guys know, identify as non-binary trans. So that is like 
you know when i'm having difficult times and stuff i like to turn to things that comfort me like this this book is about an f2m transgender person and their journey and it's just really really nice comforting inspiring book to read if you're somebody who feels like you're in the wrong body also it's just a really nice comforting read it was actually recommended to me by an old online friend years ago so i picked it up and when i read it it just kind of resonated with me so i wanted to share that with you guys as well so guys i'm gonna stop this little video right here i'm gonna say take care stay safe stay well love you guys so much thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye guys